Hey guys, before I show you this video, I want to do a little disclaimer. This uh, review will be coming from somebody who's a little bit newer to the photography world. Um, it'll be basically, as I'll call things as I see them, and hopefully this video will help you out. So, enjoy. Thanks. Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick little review here of a new toy I got. It's an Optica remote control. It's infrared, which means it's wireless. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to open it up. Now, I am new to the photography world, so I just wanted to get a remote that would allow me to remotely trigger my uh, shutter. So, upon first impression, this is actually pretty small. I was expecting a lot bigger. Um, it fits very nicely in the palm of your hand. Um, my only worry is losing this thing now, so I'll have to make sure to keep good track of it. Um, if you pull it out of the protective plastic sleeve, you'll see that there are five buttons. Um, this is for the regular shutter. This is for shutter with a two second delay. Um, now I did test this thing. It works to about 15 feet or so. They say 16. I measured about 15. Uh, the other thing, it has to be directly pointed at the camera. The front can't be standing behind it. So this works good for if you want to be included in a picture, don't want to run back and forth. And uh, you know how all those old family photos go. You have to run back and forth, ask if the uh, light's flashing, and then run back and take your spot in the picture. No more of that with this. Um, that's what the nice thing about the two second shutter delay is. Uh, you can push the button, you can hide the remote in that amount of time, and then smile for the picture. Now um, I did notice that I, I put my uh, motor on for my lens, and if you hold down the button it will autofocus and then take the picture when it's ready. Um, it doesn't quite tell you when it will be ready, but you'll be able to hear it if it's quiet in the room. Now um, it does come with a battery and on the back it has protective plastic. So overall I'd say this is a pretty good um, pretty good buy. I got it for about eight bucks on Amazon. It is the uh, RC4 model. I know there's the RC1 and a few other ones. This one does work with the T3i. Um, if you look, uh, they do give you a nice little instruction sheet. Um, it says that it's good for the uh, 450D, 500D, Mark II, Rebel T2, TI, and, and the list goes on, but um, I am using this with the T3i, so let's just see if it stops the video here. So a second ago, you saw me try to turn off this video with the remote. Now it looks like it worked, but it actually didn't. I ran out of memory on my memory card, and so that's my fault. Kind of misleading, but it doesn't work on video. Um, at least as far as I know, you might be able to change some settings, but from what I found, I, I couldn't figure it out. So um, when you're shooting regularly, uh, you'll have to go into your settings and make sure it accepts a either a timer or a remote, and it works just fine. So overall, I'd rate this pretty well. I haven't used any other ones, to be honest, but uh, for what I want it to do and what I was expecting it to do, it fulfills everything, and for $8, um, I'd suggest this very highly to anybody who asks me.